make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. I think she likes me. Or maybe your mother. Her flower plot is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You killed our brother! I've killed many brothers. Sisters, too. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. You won't need your sword. Not where we're going. Very well. That was easy. There. Doesn't that feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do? So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Griff and his men are under guard. They have no place here. They do if I say they do. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. Lady Elena Glenmore is our guest. The soldiers accompanied her to ensure her safety. If her safety is a concern, perhaps she should not have come to Ironrath. Well... I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Ah. Here we are. Oh. Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. Our sister has influence in King's Landing. She'll hear of this. King's Landing is very far away. Ah! No! <laughs> Stop! Ah! Look at what you've done. I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please! Please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! Please, do something! Talia, don't look. Please. Look at him, Talia. <laughs> See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Ramsey. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> You're right. This is my fault. I told you, Talia.
Oh. All lads fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Your little brother had bigger balls than you. I came here to kill you, but now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a holdfast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise I'll kill you both and be done with it. There's no need for war. Lud and I have already come to terms. I've just given you the terms. They're not negotiable. One house left standing. Yours? Or Lud's? And one more thing. <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. <sighs> Ready the horses? Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. So sorry. I keep asking myself what we've done to deserve such hate. Did we bring it on ourselves? Or is this house just cursed? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. By the gods, I miss the Starks. The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Duncan. But can we even fight them? We don't have the numbers. We don't yet have Ryan back. 
And if Mir is right about an army from the south... Right now, everything depends on Asher. Once he and Malcolm bring us more fighting men, then Where we... is he? Where is my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh! No. No. Oh, no. No, Arthur, no! Arthur! It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. He did this for me. I'm so sorry, Elena. I know how much he meant to you. He meant everything, Roderick. He was my little brother. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. And now to die, like this, tortured, mutilated. He died as he lived, bravely, as a man of the North. He died in agony and for nothing. Look at him, Roderick. There's hardly anything left of him. Elena. I'm sorry. Get you someplace warm. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Thank you, Roger. You are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira. I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros, in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. Lord Andros is a threat to my family. He's plotting against them even as we speak. I believe you, but you called attention to yourself, Mira. And you angered Marjorie. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. I won't do anything to jeopardize it. That's fine by me. I don't need friends who get so easily overwhelmed. It makes me sad to hear you talk like that. What was it? Worth it, at least. Sacrificing so much for your family. Nothing's worth losing your friendship over, Sarah. I would have said the same thing, once. I'd better go before she sees me. She'll be a forester.
Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. You still angry at me? What do you think? I think I deserve a little gratitude. He's dead. I shouldn't care how it happened. It doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter. Or something. No matter what happens, I'll have your back. Always. And I yours, little brother. But we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Asher. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. Nothing out of the ordinary, Your Grace. We fulfilled your orders. All of them? I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Your Grace, we encountered the slave master, Dizorzo Raza, on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he lost his life. Oh, don't fucking... You admit it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. And yet, do you come to me for a reward? Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. I'm waiting. It was the heat of battle. A soldier must keep his head in a fight. You disobeyed me. You disappoint me, Forrester. I will not be giving you my second sons. What? But Your Grace, the mission was a success. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. Your Grace, we risked our lives for you. And you risked them again with your tongue. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There must be a few cutthroats who would fight for the likes of you. Now get out. I'm terribly sorry, Your Grace. You have nothing to apologize for, Malcolm. I have other plans for you. Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen Alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. And now you've angered her, she may need some convincing. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. She broke her word, Uncle. Not without her reasons. She did it once. She could easily do it again. Maybe. But this alliance might be worth the risk. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. <sighs> the little Queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers. 
And I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going North. We're going South. To join Mance. And the rest of the Free Folk. But, look... That was always the plan, Cotter. I can't go South. The Night's Watch will have my head. Better than losing it to a White Walker. Sylvie, he's come a long way. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me, then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why did he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. Can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and, well, well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildies. You want to go back, Finn? Well, go ahead. No one's stopping you. You know I can't do that. Finn, will you co Just piss off! Some leader you turned out to be. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. First I find out you're a wildling. Now you've got a sister. What else are you hiding? Nothing. I swear. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. 
I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, fens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the white walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Don't frighten our dinner away. Shit. Here. I was never any good with a bow. Know how to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I trained at Castle Black. So you're shit then. Shit. I think you need more training. Maybe next time, Garrod. Well, since we don't have any food... Well, what's this? Your dinner. It won't fill you up, but it'll make you think you're not hungry for a while. At least I don't have to worry about you trying to shoot me. You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about? Someone you... Thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again. Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. So it is real then? I didn't say that. But it might be. A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories. That the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were... Dad! Fuck! 